All right, I sent him an email, hopefully. Well, now we just have to be patient. Yeah. Well, that 410 one is canceled anyway, so. Yeah. If he's running behind, it doesn't affect us too much. Can you hear me? Yes. We can. Okay, um, I did represent the Rose Street applicants when they applied for their temporary apartment permit. So I'm assuming they're gonna be here, but if they don't show up, I probably could explain their renewal, but whatever you wanna do is fine. Okay, I just sent him an email, so hopefully we'll hear back from him, but it's up to Ginny, whatever you wanna do. Well, we can wait a little bit. We don't have another one for another 15 minutes, so. Okay. I don't want it. I don't want it if it rains. Well, I, hmm, <clears throat> I'm wondering if um, Attorney McKetrick wants to um, continue with the application without the um, her clients handy. So um, I spoke to them, um, you know, after they filed this app. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, I spoke to them because I had two other hearings tonight or this afternoon. And, um, you know, they explained that they had filed for the renewal. And I just said that I'm going to be here anyway, and that if they needed me, I would be available. Um, and I'm completely familiar with their original application and also, you know, have spoken to them recently. So I mean, I think it's it's up to you as the hearing officer, but um, you have the application and the hearing has been posted and you want to see whether. Oops. We lost her. I think I had a weird button. There she is. <laughs> Sorry, Marion. I think I had a weird button. You're just muted. Okay, sorry, sorry I'll say that. it again. So I spoke to the um, applicants for 45 Rose Street. I represented them for their first application. They went ahead and filed uh, this application themselves, which is fine. They would be able to handle it, I'm sure. But they did ask me about it. And I said, well, I'm going to be here anyway. So I told them that I would be available if they had any need um, for me to speak on their behalf. And I am completely familiar with their original application. So you know, given that that's been posted, um, maybe there are neighbors here who want to speak or something like that. I think I'd be happy to represent them and maybe you can complete the renewal without them being present. I think that's an excellent idea. <laughs> okay. So um, let's let's start the four o'clock hearing on, upon the application of Matthew Hallisey, dated April 1st, 2021, on file with the Board of Appeals for renewal of the special permit pursuant to the terms of section 3A9 of chapter 10 of the general bylaws of the town of Milton to continue to use a temporary in-law apartment for Carol Henderson within the existing dwelling located at 45 Road Street in Milton in accordance with a special permit originally granted by the board on July 3rd, 2017. Section 3A9 of the zoning bylaw limits temporary in-law apartments within single family dwellings for a period of four years, subject to an issuance of a special permit, which may be extended by the board. Um, so we have we are looking at extending that special permit here. And so um, what we need to determine is um, that basically all is still as it was the last time that this was granted. And um, so I will ask if, it's they're still occupying um, the residence at 45 Rose Street and still own that residence. And yes, um, the arrangement was Mrs. Henderson owned this house originally. 
Mm -hmm. um, they built and they con wanted to construct an addition. So this was one of those applications that also required a variance because they wanted to construct the addition and then place the temporary apartment within it. Uh, that was uh, approved by the Board of Appeals and there was universal support from their neighbors. Um, Mrs. Henderson now is the tenant living in the apartment um, and the Henderson, the, um, the, her, her children basically, and her grandchildren are living in the main part of the house. And when I spoke to them recently, uh, Matthew explained it's, you know, it, everything is open. They, they go back and forth all the time, but there is a kitchen in Mrs. Henderson's section and she has that privacy if she wants it. There's been absolutely no change in the use from what was approved initially. In fact, they were shocked to hear that the four years was almost up and this is what happens to everybody. Um, and it was built in a pretty good, reasonable amount of time after the approval was sought uh, originally. So they would very much like to have a renewal for another four years. Okay, well, in as much as I see um, that the, um, the conditions are met, the people are the same, um, nothing's changed, nobody's you know having more cars in there than they need to and so all the rest of that, um, I see that this is, kind of um, application that is just about a, you know, <laughs> done deal right from the start. And so um, I'm hereby voting to extend this for a period of four years. And um, congratulations to the, the Hallisey Henderson family. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's terrific. So we did get it done. That's really good. Thank you. I appreciate it. And so I'm just going to sit here because I have a hearing at work. Yeah, we got five minutes down and then we're back mm -hmm. again. So <laughs> video for a minute. Hello? Sorry about my disappearance. <laughs> okay. okay. We do have 420 now, which is the time. Yeah, I don't know if the chans, I, actually the chans are in Korea. Oh. So we're not waiting for them. I'm sorry. Okay, I should okay. That. Well, all right, I had to pass a phone call along to my husband. So um, anytime. Okay, um, I'm gonna call to order the uh, hearing upon the application of Stanley Chan and Sasima Chan by their attorney, Marion McKettrick, dated January 11th, 2023, on file with the Board of Appeals for a renewal to the special permit pursuant to the terms of section 3A9 of chapter 10 of the general bylaws of the town of Milton to continue use of a temporary in-law apartment for Peter and Lei Ying Chan within the existing dwelling located at 17 Fox Hill Lane, Milton, in accordance with the special permit originally granted by the board on July 10th, 2015. 
Section 3A9 of the zoning bylaw limits temporary in-law apartments within single family dwellings for a period of four years, subject to the issuance of a special permit, which may be extended by the board. The application, uh, the applicants seek to extend the special permit for an additional four year period. Um, my name is Virginia Donahue King. I'm the zoning administrator and member of the Board of Appeals, and I'll be um, constituting the board for tonight's here, this afternoon's hearing. Um, and I will turn it over to um, Attorney McKettrick, who is representing um, the Chans on this um, renewal. And um, uh, she has um, submitted a, a letter. Um, hmm. She has submitted a letter that shows, I think I just put something away that I wanted to keep out. So let me know. No, where are all the letters of? I can explain the brothers' letters. I have them in front of me if you've Sorry, lost them. I was them. just going to say, yes, I have them now. Okay. okay I have letters in favor of the extending the, the special permit from uh, Sean Fahey, a neighborhood neighbor on um, 202 Old Farm Road, mm -hmm. from Apranta Patel at 214 Old Farm Road. Um, let's see. From Nora Bernaza at 191 Old Farm Road and all in favor of the application. So I will turn it over to attorney McKettrick. Okay, thank you. And I'm Mary McKettrick representing the applicants. Um, and this is for me as a record because this is the second renewal of a <laughs> special permit that I represented the applicants for. So probably one of the first ones that I did. Um, this is an interesting um, application because the applicants were completely renovating their home, which was originally a ranch style home and did a very beautiful renovation two story home and so forth. And in so in doing that, they wanted to create a temporary apartment for their parents. And um, that was approved by the Board of Appeals. All the neighbors supported it. Um, and the parents have been living in the addition and I brought it back uh, four years ago for renewal. Um, pretty much the same neighbors wrote letters then supporting the application. Um, and again, um, the Chans contacted me because they needed to, it was coming up for the second renewal. Um, and because, especially because they were going to be outside of the country, they contacted their neighbors and asked if they might send in some support letters, which they did. And you've already read those. So there has been absolutely no change in the use um, and it, it's just worked out beautifully for the family. So they're just asking you to give them another renewal for four years. And I am gonna close the evidentiary portion and say I vote um, enthusiastically for this application and for the special permit and renew our extension and it's hereby granted by the Board of Appeals. Thank you. And I can write a draft. Um, it's a very short decision in these renewals. I pretty much am going to be copying the one that I wrote four years ago. So if you'd like me to do that, I can. That would be um, great. If that's helpful. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm on for the next one. So I'll just stand by. Okay. Julia, while you're we're in between here, if you do you have the file for um for uh, 17 for the previous application in front of you, 17 Fox Hill Lane? I have the file here. Do you find the application form? You should. I <laughs> want to make sure. Yes. Okay, good. That's fine. I just want to make sure that I filed one. Yes. I just don't have a copy, but I don't need it. Okay, thank you. And do you anticipate the voids being present? Um, well, they, they, yes, probably. Let's They're see. Here, I'm going to pop over. 
Hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> we have one minute before we can start the hearing, so glad to see you here. Okay, my computer's clock has told me that it is exactly 4.30, so we can start our hearing. I'm going to call the hearing to order on the application of Justin and Jennifer Voigt by their attorney, Marion McKetrick, dated March 26, 2023, on file with the Board of Appeals for a renewal of the special permit pursuant to the terms of Section 6A, nope, excuse me, 3A9 of Chapter 10 of the General Bylaws of the Town of Milton to continue to use a temporary in-law apartment for Ronit Voigt within the existing dwelling located at 56 Hinckley Road, Milton, in accordance with a special permit originally granted by the board on April 9th, 2019. Section 3A9 of the Zoning Bylaw limits temporary apartments with within a single family dwelling for a period of four years, subject to the issuance of a special permit, which may be extended by the board, which is why we're here tonight. Um, my name is Virginia Donahue King. I'll be the, um, I'll be constituting the board tonight. I am the zoning administrator as well as board member. Um, I have in the file, in addition to um, the, uh, the uh, application and um, some things that we'll get in that uh, your attorney um, McKetrick has written. Um, we have a letter of support for your application from Susan O'Hara Riley and James E. Riley, who live at, <laughs> they don't say. 57 Hinkley Road. 57, okay, so that's gonna be across the street. So they're, they're close neighbors. So um, with that, I will um, turn it over to Attorney McKetrick to um, explain the situation and where we what we're looking for today. Hey, Attorney thank you very much. Yes, I'm Mary McKetrick and I represent the applicants. And I also represent for their original application um, to the Board of Appeals. This again was one of those situations where the this is a historic, um, beautiful historic home, 56 Hinkley Road. And um, in order to preserve that architecture and to provide space for a temporary apartment, the applicants decided that they wanted to add on to the house and they added, they wanted to create an addition which would then connect to a new garage. So that was the application. Um, a variance is required in those situations from the um, section 3A9, the temporary apartment by law. That was approved. There were some slight modifications done to um, even to design, but also to the, to the side um, vegetation in discussions with neighbors on that side. Um, this use now is in place and has been for four years. This is the, again, a situation where um, Runeet Voigt, who is a mother, is living in the apartment and Runeet's right there. And Justin is here. Is this Jennifer? Yeah, Justin and Jennifer are both here as well. So they live in the main house with their children. And um, as I believe it's been a happy, I hope, <laughs> a happy, um, you know, private but nearby cohabitation for them. Nothing has changed in the use. The apartment is still occupied by their mom. Um, the house is occupied by the children. And um, as you can see, the neighbors directly across the street who would probably have the most direct view of comings and goings from this site um, are very much in support of, of renewing this application. The four years goes by very quickly. Everybody is saying, why do we have to come back and renew? Well, that's what the bylaw says. So until town meeting sees fit to maybe say that the building commissioner can do these renewals after an inspection, this is the procedure. So um, we appreciate the fact that you've scheduled the hearing and we hope that you'll be favorably disposed to grant the application. Well, I am favor favorably disposed to granting the application. Um, this is something that's worked beautifully for four years. There's no complaints. There's, in fact, there's um, support in the neighborhood for it. Um, nothing's changed other than that, you know, we're all four years older right now. And um, <laughs> so it's good and bad, right? <laughs> yeah. So, um, so we will, um, I, I'm hereby um, casting my vote of one to um, grant the extension of this special permit for another four years, and I wish you happy co-living. Well, thank you very much. And again, this yes. is simple, um, I mean, relatively simple decisions, probably patterned on the other renewals that we've done. If you'd like me to give you a draft, I can do that. Sure, sure. Thank you. 
All right. I have to say, when I talk to the neighbors and, and discuss the renewal, because a lot of them have just moved into the neighborhood, and I said, well, we do this also because they want we want to make sure, the Board of Appeal wants to make sure there haven't been a lot of you know parties, a lot of noise, and all the neighbors wanted to know why they wouldn't have been invited to the party that we might have had. <laughs> <So, laughs> It's been a good, always the best way to not worry about noise. Invite your neighbors, right? Exactly. So it's been it's been a good four years for everyone, especially during COVID. Yeah, yes, that's right. Yeah, that's must have been terrific. Yes, so different than everyone else. People, my relatives were coming, you know, to my front sidewalk and tossing me a card, you know, on Mother's Day. <laughs> so it's nice that you were. So thank you very much. I appreciate. Well, thank you. You're thank able you. to schedule this. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Now we get the ones that take a little more time. Yes. The next applicant is here. I'm going to promote her over, but we still have the 10 minutes. Yeah, that's at um, 4.45, I believe. Yes. Okay, my computer again has told me that the time has come for the hearing to start. So I'm gonna to call to order the 445 hearing upon the application of Laureen Murphy of 56 Winthrop Street, dated May 10th, 2023, seeking a special permit to build a six foot by 24 foot roofed porch at the front of the home. The property is located in resident C zoning district. This addition would be built at a distance of 14.8 feet from the front property line where 20 are normally required under section 6B3 front yards of the Milton zoning bylaw. <clears throat> so that I've just read into the, um, the, the record, the amended advertisement for this. Originally when the advertisement um, was was published in the newspaper, it said 10 feet um, were normally required so that it looked like the 14.8 feet was um, nothing nothing extraordinary at all. And, but in fact, it, it is, it is um, within the, the front, zone, front uh, lot, lot line setback. So um, just a little administrivia here, all of the abutters were notified of this. Um, <clears throat> in the last week. And um, we have not heard any complaints about that. Um, it does not appear that we have any other people attending the hearing um, on that. Um, so we are proposing to go ahead with the hearing and um, assume that when the people get a copy of the, um, of the um, whatever we decide today, if they're not happy with it, they can appeal that at that point, and then we can we can look at that. But um, in as much as it has been advertised, um, it does seem like it would be a, a good idea to go along with that. So I just want to make sure that that's okay with you, Mrs. Murphy. Yes, definitely. Okay, great. Um, in in the um, so we have <laughs> we have a couple of ads, one edited, one unedited. One uh, we have a denial letter from. Um, our former building inspector um, saying that it's within the 20 feet so that um, you would need to get the special permit. Um, <clears throat> we have um, we have a proposal from Patriot Contracting Inc. We have a, a plot plan of the address and the um, setbacks from Pine Tree Brook, which make this a little bit more of a complex um, application as well. And we have a wealth of, of, of paper having to do with application to re construct, repair, renovate, or demolish a one or two family dwelling. Um, and in as much as the front steps will be demolished to make room for the new porch, that, that was required. Um, and this has been shepherded through with our conservation commission. 
and there are conditions looking looking to see that this is an appropriate use of, of the land by the stream. There's also a determination of applicability that the Massachusetts Department of Envi Environmental Protection requires for, um, for construction that would be in construction or um, destruction within that, um, that setback from, from a, um, open water. So, um, and that has been <clears throat> developed with conditions that are necessary for the applicant to adhere to um, while um, doing any construction. And that has been signed by um, members of our town uh, conservation commission. So that's all in the file. Um, so what I would like to do is um, if, um, if the applicant could, um, oh, by, I, I should introduce myself. I'm Virginia Donahue King. <laughs> I'm a member of the Board of Appeals as well as the zoning administrator and I will constitute the board of one at this hearing. So, um, so welcome to the Board of Appeals. And if you could tell me a little bit about your, um, your proposal, um, that would be great. Yes, uh, Lorraine Murphy, nice to meet you. Um, so what we're proposing is um, to take off, we have front stairs right now that need, they need to be reconstructed anyways, they're no longer safe. There's um, uh, railings coming off. Um, so we are uh, about to do new siding roof windows. And at the same time, we thought we would remove the front porch that's there, which is just a small front porch and stairs and change it to uh, more of a farmer's porch style. Um, looking to just add some more character to the front of the house. Um, that's basically it. It's going to be very simple front porch, but it's just a little bit bigger than what's there right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um, it's other than the steps coming down from it, it's it's pretty much within the setback of what was already there. Um, have you talked to any neighbors about this? And um, did I? No, I didn't. I didn't have any. Uh, letters of um, agreement. Have you talked to your neighbors about this? And Yeah, the, just the immediate neighbor. So it's a dead end street. So there's not a whole lot of neighbors, but the mm -hmm. house, um, if you're looking at my property, the house to the right, um, we have talked to them. Um, they actually asked if they should, before we got to this point, when we were going through the, um, the uh, what you just said about the back of the house being on the brook, um, they had offered to come to meetings and support for that. Um, they didn't, I haven't talked to them about this part, but they know, they know our plan and mm -hmm. are excited for us to do it because uh, the house is not, it's not looking so good from the outside right now. So they're, I'm sure they're very excited for it to look better than it does right now. And what is it, what's the number what's of, uh, <clears throat> the road there? I remember the, what, what's their address? Uh, uh, they're 60. I believe they're 60. 60. Okay. And any other neighbors have you talked to? Um, uh, yeah, across the street from them, I think that's number 65. They're newer in the neighborhood and um, they were also excited for it. They just resided and got new windows in their house. So they, we talked about which contractors we were using and they were very excited to know that, um, that we were upgrading also. Obviously it helps the value of their house if our house looks better. So they were happy to hear that. <laughs> okay, great. Um... Is there anyone out there that wants to speak? Do we have any hands raised, Julia? Nope, nobody's here. Okay. Well, I'm gonna close the evidentiary portion of the hearing and um, <clears throat> decide the case right here. Um, it sounds like this is you know, an excellent um, update for the house and, and well needed. It'd be uh, nice to have a place you can sit out in a porch instead of just a place that you can, you know, stop while you put your key in the door. I know, I already got a bench. I'm looking so, so forward to using it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. So I, I, um, I see that um, this, is, this is something that it's, it's not really extending it. Well, it's extending the, the non-conformity in that it's wider and there's a few steps coming down, but basically where, where the porch is, where the, the, the stoop is, I, I, I call it right now, um, is, it's basically holding the area that the, the six by 24 foot um, roofed porch is gonna be. And so um, I'm hereby deciding my vote of one is that we're gonna grant the special permit. Awesome. And, um, subject to the conditions that are you know put in by the conservation commission and so forth. Um, and 
congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm so You're excited. Welcome. They actually just happened to text me and ask when they could start. And I'm like, hold on, I got to get back to you later tonight. <laughs> now, the other thing is that <clears throat> um, I have to write a decision on this before they can pull the permit. Okay. And the other, the other um, issue is that once the permit gets into Julia, she files it with the town clerk and there's a 20 day appeal period. Okay. So while it's unlikely that that appeal period will be um, used by somebody, we have to wait until that point. So um, I will try to get this permit out as quickly as possible so that um, you can start your, and maybe maybe have your porch before long <laughs> while it's still summer. I know. So I'll, I'll work hard on that. And um, so just so you know, this it's the 20 days. So put that into your timetable with your bill. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And then Thank the you. other thing that you would want to do is um, if you, uh, you probably will want to file the special permit at the Norfolk County Registry of Deeds so that it, you know, as you, you can prove that you've had this special permit, but when you sell your house, nobody's going to be saying, gee, um, this is out of conformity. So, um, so that would be problematic for you at the time that you're selling your house if somebody wanted to do that. So that, that would keep your, your deed, um, fresh, shall we say. Okay. okay. Um, I just have one question. If um, uh, the contractor had asked this before, where it was um, just the front porch part of the work that was a problem, would they be able to start the other work while yes, we wait? Can. Okay. Yes, they can. So he could just come back to town hall and pick up um, the permit for everything but the front porch. Exactly. While that 20 days is going on. Exactly. Okay. Awesome. Great. Thank you so much. Okay. Good luck. Have a good night. Right. We have like 20 minutes until the next one. <laughs> well, I think I'll unmute my, I mean, I'll mute myself for a while. And yes, I'll be back. We'll get another cold drink because I am just dying of heat. All right. See you shortly. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we do have 515 now. Hello, good evening. Yes. Hi, uh, I'm Cesar De Silva here with- uh, hold, on, hold on one moment. We wanna make sure that we're, we are being taped. Um, yeah, we're good. We're good, okay. Um, I'm going to call to order the 515 hearing upon the application of Aguinaldo and Leila Fonseca by their architect Cesar da Silva um, at 2 Catherine Road dated June 1st, 2023, seeking a special permit to build an 11 by 17 by 26 foot, 26.7 foot by two and a half story addition to the rear of their home. The property is located in a resident C zoning district. This addition would be built at a distance of 12 feet from the left side property line when 20 are normally required by section 6C3 side yards of the Milton <clears throat> zoning bylaw and 22.7 feet from the rear lot line when 27.7 are normally required by section 61 using the 30% of the average lot depth. Um, my name is Virginia Donahue King. I will be the um, hearing officer um, of, of one for this um, hearing. And um, I, in the file, I have, um, I have a, a letter um, signed by the applicants authorizing Cesar de Silva to represent them at the Zoning Board of Appeals um, hearing. Um, for the purpose of building a rear addition only is, um, we also have a denial letter from our building inspector um, stating the reason why it's necessary to get a special permit for this. We have lots of um, architectural renderings um, of, of the property and, and what the addition is 
um, looking to be. So um, I um, so I'm going to turn that over now to Mr. De Silva, and um, if you just state your if whoever's speaking, just state your name and your address before um, speaking. We'll have a nice record of who's who's talking, and that will be very helpful for us. Mr. De Silva. Yes, good evening. My name is Cesar De Silva, the architect for Mr. Aguinaldo Fonseca. Uh, hi, Julia. Hi, Ms. King. How y'all doing? Good evening. Um, we come before you uh, soliciting your support for the, uh, the objective was to enclose a porch and extend the existing porch four feet uh, back. Um, where the code that the uh, violations are on the side yard that um, that says uh, we, we have 12 feet, but the code requires 20. We are not extending any farther than the existing than the existing building. Actually, we stay in within six inches, so we're not uh, making any more than detrimental than what it already, already is. Uh, as for the second option, I mean, the second um, violation, which is the rear yard, 27.7 feet, we haven't, we live in a straight 22.7. If you see in the backyard on the drawings, there are a, um, can I share my screen with you? Pardon? Can I share my screen with you? Let me see if I'm sorry, I, I, I uh, missed you that. see it now. Can you see it? Oh, okay. Yep. You can see oh, it now. Oh, okay. As you see, the the addition, the we are going uh, here, extending to the side of the garage. From the back, there is a garage, but we're not extend we're just enclosing it as close to the garage that so if you see. Uh, on the second rendering uh, on the top, there is uh, a walkway that goes under. Only the second floor extends, but the bottom floor stays uh, at the same size as it is, so we can have a walkway right through the backyard. And right now, there is, it's all open, but we'll put a gate so it has a little pathway through the backyard. So, and there is, as you see, a little deck on the back. But the, the side yard here, as you see the back where the calls, oh, excuse me, for the 20 feet, we're not extending any farther than the existing building. So, uh, if you see, we are actually here six inches in uh, with, so we can have so we can have an enclosed porch so we can best use the porch all year around and you know and have more use of the uh, the deck um, and that's the, uh, our, the his objective his plan uh, before you and hoping we can have your uh, support and be an acceptable to do the acceptance to do this. If you have any questions, please. So um, <clears throat> my question um, is that um, basically we're, we're still looking at, well, let me, let me pull out the plot plan. Oh, okay, okay. Um, okay, so we, we're not really having any further um, encumbrance on the back lot line because it's the garage is there. So we, we really don't have any further on the back lot line. Um, so it's really a rather small thing that we're asking for here that you're asking for here. Um, have, have the applicants talked to their neighbors to see if they're in favor of the project? Yes, I spoke to uh... Uh, say your name, who you are. Oh, sorry, Aguinaldo Fonseca. I'm here on behalf of uh, my daughter, Leila. Uh, and of course, uh, also my, my wife, who, uh, whose name is not on the, uh, is not on the deed. Uh, 
but I, I did talk to uh, one of the one of the neighbors. She's she's fine with with it. The immediate neighbors. Correct. Mm -hmm. I think immediate neighbors, there are other uh, examples such as this one in, on the street already, mm -hmm. uh, or the side street. Uh, this will not be, you know, would not set the presence. There is already other uh, enclosed porches, at least front porches, I believe, on the uh, near surroundings. Mm -hmm. um, and but the people that you have talked to and, and um, are, are in favor of it, is that a fair statement? All she, of them are. Uh, in she, favor didn't, of it? she did not indicate any, any position or objection to, to it. Actually, she's a, she's a she's fine a, smith. I'm, I'm sorry, could you talk a little slower? I'm having trouble hearing. I said we did not show any sign of opposition to uh, mm -hmm. what I'm trying to, to do. Uh, she actually she did come across as being su supportive as a. Uh, she believed it would uh, beautify the the, the, mm -hmm. the neighborhood and, and the property. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, Julia, are there any people that would like to be heard on the matter out there? Sorry, I'm having a hard time checking with the screen share. Hold on. Okay, take your time. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm going to, unless there's anything else you'd like to add, I'm going to close the evidentiary portion of the hearing and deliberate on the matter. Um, looking at the um, renderings of the um, addition and the plot plan, um, it appears that we have basically using a little bit more, it, it's, it's not any further into the setback than is currently there um, that has worked for quite some time. Um, I'm also cognizant that you're on a corner. And so on the side of the house, you need to have 20 feet as opposed to 10 feet, which um, you know can, can be a hardship at, um, at, for a house that already exists. And you're actually making the, um, the addition thinner than the, the width of the house. So um, it's, it's not giving, giving it a boxy look. It's not taking up more land than it needs to take up. Um, it's extending the nonconformity that's there, but it's not creating any um, greater nonconformity. So um, my vote is to, um, my vote of one, and this is to um, grant the special permit for this addition. Um, and <clears throat> so you'll have, I have to write a decision for this. And at that point, it, it goes to Julia, who clocks it in and a 20 day waiting period arrives. Um, at the time that the 20 days is up, you're able to um, pull the permit for, for building. Um, but it, and it, even though there are, even though there's nobody here to speak for or against the application, um, we do have to, it's a statute that we have to follow this 20 day appeal period. So um, after that appeal period, um, you can start your, your work and, and enjoy your new addition. So congratulations on the special permit. Okay. And um, when, you get the, the, when you get the special permit, um, it's a good idea to file it with the board, not the board, it's a good idea to file it with the Norfolk County Registry of Deeds so that when you go to sell your house, um, the purchases of that um, might know that this is something that's been legally granted and, and they are grandfathered in along with you. So um, just to keep your, your deed, um, your, your deed a good deed and not have to go and prove anything at the time that you sell your house. So congratulations. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, you Ms. Okay. King. Thank you, Ms. Folsom. How you pronounce it, Julia? Folsom, you had it right. Okay, <laughs> thank you again. All right, enjoy the rest of the evening. Well, appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Bye. Julia, you got all 
the here the uh, the um, decisions that you needed from me, right? Yes, I filed them today. Okay, great. So mm -hmm. I just ha I just have new ones to do now. How about yes, that? Yes, <laughs> we're all caught up. <laughs> very good, very good. It's a good. Well, um, I was I was caught up for a couple of hours. How about that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, I, I don't think these will be too extensive. So very good. I'll try to get these over to you pretty quickly then. All right, sounds good. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. Bye bye.